Hey everybody, Dane Fordell here. I wanted to make a quick video to show everybody how to update with the latest software. 1.5 is the new version. The latest software for their Vava Chroma Ultra Short Throw Projector. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to activate the Chroma, go into the settings, update the software from 1.4 to 1.5, and then I'm going to do a factory reset. So that way everything is right from square one with the 1.5 software. So if you need something to follow along, thanks for checking out this video. Let's go ahead and get this started. Started. I'm gonna power on the Vava Chroma. Excellent. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going into the settings and I'm going to make sure that it's logged into the Wi-Fi. Now that it's connected to my home's Wi-Fi, we're going to go back. We'll go down to General, and you'll see right when you select General that there is an update available. This is telling us that a new version was detected, version 1.5.3. This is supposed to optimize the Android OS, fix the screen flickering when in 3D mode, and improve CEC. I'm going to go ahead and click Update. It's almost one gigabyte, so this might take a few minutes. Okay, the download has now completed. It's going to check the file. Hopefully it's not corrupt. Now the projector is going through the update pot process. There you've noticed the unit shut down and did a restart. It's now booting up again. And it says it's installing the system update. Now you have the VAVA boot animation. And it has now reconnected to Wi-Fi. So now we're going to go to settings and verify that the software update did take. Down in settings, we'll go down to about. You can see here, device info, it gives your serial number and your software version. Right here on the software version, it's telling us it's version 1.5.3. The version we're currently using is the latest version, once again, 1.5.3. 
So the final step, we will reset the Vava Chroma to its factory settings. It will still maintain the 1.5.3 software, but will reset so all the settings go back to its original delivered state. That's under General, Restore Factory Settings, and select Reset. There you have it, guys. We've now done a full factory reset after the update of the VAVA software 1.5.3. Thanks for joining me here on the Dangin. Check out more of my videos below. If you have any questions, make sure you ask it in the comments below. And stick around for some more videos on the Baba Chroma. Thanks, and we'll talk to you next time. No